Hello, welcome to my Curly Photography YouTube channel. I'm going to try to keep it very short today because I understand that as long as my videos are going to be very long, that's not helpful for me or for you. Uh, I will try to edit today a picture with food. You can use the same settings for landscapes, at least, only for landscapes. But it works for portraits, for everything you want. It's very easy and it will have, it will include three steps. So, I'm going to start with this picture. I'm going to take it somewhere here. Imagine from three editing uh, moves. I took this picture some days ago. Um, we're going to start with Ctrl J. We will make a new background copy, or you can create a new layer with, uh, from here. It's not a problem. We're going to start from here and go to use a filter that I use a lot, the collection Viveza. If you don't find it online, you can write me an email or a comment and I can send this to you. It's a filter that I use a lot for all the kinds of pictures that I take. We're going to click on it. And it opens to a new window. What this does it already edits the picture and it takes it to a new level. You can edit brightness. Try not to overexpose it where you have white. I don't usually use contrast here, but you can use. I'm going to edit the contrast in a new, um, in a new effect later. That's called color lookup. Shadow adjustment, yes, it's good to use it, especially for the dark part. Warm, it warms the colors towards red and yellow. And of course, you can adjust the level of the colors you want to use. Now, another secret of Viveza is the control point. I'm going to add one here, and you can adjust how big area you want to edit, and I'm going to darken the color. I will add another control point here. I will adjust it. Not so. Okay. Um, just the brightness, darken it here. That's about right. Darken it a little bit. And here. What I'm going to try to do is bring this picture to a little bit of mystic light, food photography effect, which is not easy to get, trust me. I'm a beginner, I have tried so far. So this is the editing with only one simple uh, filter. Okay, you're going to get back now to your Photoshop platform. Let's see. Okay, what we're going to do next is try to make an editing that you can usually only do with Lightroom. That's having different exposures in the same picture. You know, like dark areas and light areas. What we're going to do is create a new layer, set overlay, and the opacity to 20. You, it's not uh, indicated to go higher than 20 because this might look weird. I'm going to show you how. Choose a brush and choose um, soft opacity type. Go to white and black and set the, with the brackets. You're going to use the brackets to make it smaller or bigger. Set the bracket from the bracket, set the size to as much as it fits you and go and lighten up your food. I advise you to do that as long as your picture is not overexposed and you have this white that you can't even understand what's underneath. Then with the X on the keyboard, you're going to go and darken the whole area out of the food, around the food anyway. Okay, that's about right. Try to cover all the area, and maybe also here because this egg is weird. Okay, you can see the difference. 
immediately the picture is changed. The food pops out. You see it, the color vibe. You know, everything is different only with this. Now, why I said don't go bigger than 20? Because then it's going to get really weird. 20 or less, maybe 17, I usually use, but it's okay, in this case you can use 22. It's not too much, be careful not to overdo it, it still has to look real, don't go in the past where you put over contrast just to pop out the colors and it doesn't look like real food anymore. We're going to go to the last step, another new layer from here, create a new layer. And you go to my favorite type of editing, since I was a beginner, color lookup. I usually just choose crisp warm, look at this picture, amazing. Or you can use foggy night. Now this color lookup effect, you can use them like this and go from the opacity and choose how much you want it. Or you can go soft light on them and it's going to give a very beautiful you know, like fairy tale, fairy tale effect, I like to call it like that. This is the picture after. So, uh, I will go again closing them, just to try to make, to help you understand where we started from. This was my picture before, okay? And this is the picture after. It's beautiful. Thank you very much for watching. Any comments you have, any requests, just write me. Thank you.